are you not entertained by this? Like the, um, you know, that you can have this big a majority and, and be in this mess. It's, it's just, just, it's gorgeous. I'm, I, 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 you know. But you're probably, you're, you're a proper observer of, of politics. Well, um, I mean, we've got no option, have we? Mm. Um, uh, uh, we have to keep a close eye on this yeah. thing, don't we? Uh, uh, especially now we're coming to the end of the end of the. Uh, you know, this is the very end of the Return of the Jedi, isn't it? In terms yeah. of Tory governments, We've, they, they've shot the Ewoks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, yes, I mean, I yeah, I do. I, I find it, I find the whole thing sort of bit, bitterly fascinating. And you truth. famously stood yeah. against. Nigel Farage. No, and the other candidates. And the other and candidates. Craig McKinley. I mean, yeah. please. Uh, they're, they're, otherwise, we're back to my old Twitter feed of 2015, which is just, why do you hate democracy? Yeah. Well, yeah. what, by running the an election? Standing an election. Yeah. Standing an election. <laughs> Question number one from Keir Starmer. The government has been forced to admit that it has lost contact with 85% of the 5,000 people earmarked for removal to Rwanda. Has he found them yet? Minister. Mr. Mr Speaker, what I can tell the honourable gentleman is that in spite of him blocking every in spite of him blocking every single attempt that we have taken, we have managed now, because of our actions, to reduce the number of people coming here by over a third last year. Remove over twenty thousand people from this country back to their home countries carried out 70% more illegal enforcement raids, arrested hundreds of people, closed down thousands of bank accounts, and processed over 100,000 cases, the biggest number in over 20 years, Mr Speaker. That's because on this side of the House, we want to stop the boats. We have a plan. It's working. And with him, we would just go back to square one. I've been watching a lot of 24 hours of police custody later, le le recently, and I think... <laughs> and I think um, uh, Sunak should just say no comment to everything at the moment. He's reached that stage of the process where his, uh, the answer to every question should just be no comment. <laughs> and we'd, we'd get through this whole thing a lot quicker. Yeah. And he wouldn't... We'd be no would, more in the dark. He, we'd be, <laughs> things would be just as clear. And he wouldn't, uh, and he wouldn't be, he wouldn't be um, offering, offering so many sort of possible uh, lines to the, to, to, to the opposition. I also... I, I mean, I have to say, the, the argument he presents there that, well, the opposition are, are opposing what we're doing isn't the isn't the strongest uh, yeah. politics, is it? I mean, they're, they're, they're clues in the name, mate. But it's, also, I mean, it, it's also just not true when he says, in spite of him blocking yeah, every single yeah, attempt, yeah. It, they haven't blocked it. Well, I know they, I know they haven't. Actually, yeah. the, everything that Rishi Sunak wanted to do, he has been able to yeah. do. Well, and the only people liable to block what he's doing now are, are sitting on behind him. Behind so. him. Ah, oh, come on, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> the, the, the current state of play is: is it, are you not entertained by this? Like the. Um, you know that you can have this big a majority and and be in this mess. It's it's just just it's gorgeous. I'm, I, 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 you know, it's more the Black Knight than Gladiator. I would say. Yeah, well, to be yes, honest. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what uh, you're going to do? Bleed on me at this stage is how, how the prime minister is approaching politics. It's not gone down very well. Uh, people watching on YouTube, Cadia says that was the worst possible answer. I mean, we've still got five I more mean, goes. Yeah, of that. No comment. Yeah. <laughs> The same thing again and again. Here we are talking about what we are doing. But I'm happy, I'm happy to go over it, Mr Speaker. What are we doing? We've increased the number of illegal enforcement raids by 70%, leading to thousands of arrests, using powers, Mr Speaker, that he blocked in this House. We have closed down thousands of bank accounts of illegal workers, again, using powers that he blocked, Mr Speaker. Order. Mr Trump. Do you want that early cup of tea? Or are we going to a little bit more silent? Prime Minister. Uh, and, Mr Speaker, as I said, we have worked through a record number of cases and returned a record number of people back to where they've come. All of that is a plan that is working, and we can see that it's working, because the numbers of people coming to this country are down by over a third, Mr Speaker. But again, it is a bit rich to hear him in here pretending that he cares about how we actually stop the boats when he's been crystal clear. He's been crystal clear and said that even if the plan is working to reduce the numbers, he would st still scrap it, Mr Speaker. It's because he has no values, no conviction and no plan and it's back to square one. Hey! Is the, is the idea here that, um, you know, that the, the, the would-be immigrant goes, God, nothing works in Britain, I won't go there then. 
Is that what they? Is that what? They, oh, is that the idea? Yeah, is maybe. that what he's aiming at here? Yeah, the God, they can't. They can't the string a pond. It doesn't really yeah. works anymore. Yeah, exactly. They can't find a ferry. I, I won't bother going I'm there. I'm off to Greece. <laughs> it's warmer there. Because Lindsay Hoyle had to deal with some shouting there. What's your best tactic for dealing with hecklers, Al? Oh, I get my retaliation early. I think what what Hoyle's doing wrong is he, he should start PMQs by basically roasting the front four rows of, <laughs> of, um, of both sides of the yeah. house before he calls the before yeah. he calls. Starmer to um, ask his first question. I saw Stuart Lee on Monday night. He spent the whole first half of the show just having a go at the audience. So. But well, it's going to be, won't it get repetitive? Because what he's done and what do you do? And what do you do? Well, the rows and rows of MPs. A question <laughs> with this woman. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be struggling with some of the Labour front bench, it's true to say. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Well, because of course you? Rachel Weaves isn't there because she's in uh, knee deep in Davos. Well, that means there's only half the people that. Most people recognise them. Uh, yeah. have, have any uh, have government people gone to Davos? Yeah, I think David Cameron's going and Jeremy Hunt's going. Uh, they're, they're very at home there, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. You know, it's horses for courses. Very, very old, very old school. That the idea of Cameron rocking up at Davos, isn't it? It's like it smacks of. Wasn't there a story I remember when they went to Davos with George Osborne? They spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds on a f cheese fondue or something yeah. during yeah. austerity, which we obviously yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah, kept us going for weeks. I mean, though. good times. The yeah. cheese fondue during austerity. Good times. I mean, that was all they had to worry about. Yeah, exactly. It was a fondue. It was a cheese fondue. <laughs> brought down by a cheese fondue. I know, Mr Speaker, he's always been more interested in what lefty lawyers have to say, Mr Speaker. I, I've, even got here, I've even got here the textbook that he authored for them. Yeah. And it's called, and I quote, European Human Rights Law by Keir Starmer. Yeah. So... Prime Minister! Prime Minister, when I stand up, please sit down. Can I just say, we don't use props in this house, and I will certainly ensure that if you do need reminding, I certainly will. Where do you stand on the use of props, Al? Oh, I'm all for it. I mean, I think, uh, you know, uh, I, I'll I resort to Excel if yeah. I need it. Um, yeah. You know, we have a projector. Yeah. Um, I mean, today. the thing is, my bar is, is always well stocked with Vittles, so if yeah. someone needs some crisps... Yeah. I mean, again, again, I think Parliament's limiting itself here. If yeah. you could... If you could I mean, you could all get the, a lot in the dispatch box, couldn't you? You could. Imagine. Imagine if, if, if he had in there, you know, compromising photographs, everything. I mean, yeah. fantastic, <laughs> wouldn't you? Well, they could go sort of full whose line is it anyway. Yeah. And at the start, Lindsay Hoyle gives them, I don't know, like a big, exactly. a big folk snake. In question one, you must use... Folk snake. The and the you have to just keep passing yeah. it backwards yeah, exactly. and forwards. Yeah. 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 They haven't got a lot of time for that, actually. We're yeah. reaching the stage where they're becoming a sort of estuarial English uh, face-off now. I mean, he's Starmer gonna... was like, yeah. 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 he doesn't even... He hasn't got a clue. He hasn't got a clue where they are, He hasn't got a clue. And Sunak does it too when he's trying to be sort of vaguely... I mean, Sunak was he's actually going to get out of foam square with one written on it at some point, isn't he? That's yeah. where we're headed with this props <laughs> thing. Here it is. Here it is. We'll back to square one and we'll get told off for that. <laughs> uh, now, um, on this, as you're here as a, as a professional comedian, Al, mm. uh, let's, let's, yeah. let's revisit uh, Keir Starmer's joke. When he sees his party tearing itself apart, hundreds of bold men scrapping over a single broken comb, doesn't he wish he'd had the courage to stick to his guns? I mean, it's got words in it. It's got a lot of metaphors. <laughs> um, it, it, yes, and it's sort of... It needed a comey payoff, it didn't it? It pitches yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. Teeth. Exactly. It doesn't I mean, work it's in its own terms. terms. Or something to do with giving in to his fringe. You know, Good. I mean, we're, we're, just, we're, just, we're just... Once you mention that it's Chekhov's comb, isn't it? Once you mention the comb, you there's got to be some it. there's got to be some more hair involved, isn't yeah. there? I mean, it's... Blow, blow Chekhov's jars. gun would be more interesting well, at this it, point it, of the proceedings. It would, yeah. Yes, I mean, it's... Yeah, it, it, he's... The thing is, is this isn't what this isn't what Starmer isn't good at the the, the humour, mm. is he? I mean, I, Starmer's really like, and I, I know there's no the polling all says there's no appetite for him, is there? That that, that people aren't really into mm. him. But he's a rail replacement service. I don't want to get on that bus. <laughs> <laughs> But, but I have to get from A to B, but so I will get there on the is bus. No train, there is no train. Exactly, there is no train. You spend six hours with your face just rattling up against the glass. <laughs> that is that's yeah. that's the next Labour How government. Have we been on <laughs> oh God, we're only at Salisbury. <laughs> bus that's either way too hot or far too cold. Yeah, that's the next Labour government. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Uh,